Hey guys, I finally did it. My streams and videos are 1080p. At least I think they are. Hey guys, it's Jay Cyan. You may know me from twitch.tv slash Jay Cyan. And I want to talk about charity goals. I noticed that a lot of people, I think especially beginner streamers, tend to put in goals that are something like, oh, I want a goal to get a new gaming PC or a new keyboard. I understand that people need these to have like a better stream or to enjoy their stream with like a better keyboard or a better camera or something but in my opinion i think the streamer or creator needs to provide those things on their own in my opinion i don't think people like creators or streamers should rely on their viewers to do such a thing i'm not trying to attack you guys or anything it's the creator's job to provide entertainment to the viewer which is why there's a lot of youtubers out there that have built their content from the ground and up i think people should do goals or charity goals in a way that in my opinion is attended to be for example let's say we're doing a goal for saint jude as you guys remember i did a saint jude charity stream on may and i plan to do another one for next year on 2022 around may i think that's when it's held right around may in 2022 and when you do these type of streams you get stuff like these for example here let me grab this ah. so i never thought that i would get something like this but i'll show you guys in a moment there's more but i don't want to bring them out because they're scattered everywhere everywhere in my house but when you do charity streams sometimes there's some places that give you free stuff or prizes for doing so which motivates people to keep going for saint jude since i was supporting children they gave me a hydro flask for saint jude here it is i think each year they change the design for these things which makes sense since it's supposed to symbolize that year and they also gave me like a ginormous mouse pad that i can show you right here let me grab it i showed it on stream here and there but here let me see if i could bad idea to grab it because i know things would fall <laughs> but here is the mouse pad there we go i don't know if you guys can hear me still ah, there it is but yeah like definitely definitely try to do charity streams for things like saint jude and you can google these things too you can google charity streams all over the internet you can go to tiltify.com i think they're called i'll leave a link in the description and i think they promote these on their main page i forgot where you can locate these charities but it's up to you guys if you guys want to do something i usually do charity once or twice a year the reason why i i rarely do them is because i want to make them scarce i want to make them rare to the point where hey this is the only opportunity you get to donate or else you're gonna have to wait next year i do it because i want to support the campaign and to get our community noticed out there and when you do something like this some campaigns allow you to sign up a google form where you can submit uh like for example saint jude had a google form where you can submit your name and everything and your streams and stuff if it gets accepted you are going to be featured on twitch's front page twitch promotes campaigns like saint jude especially and some of the streamers got featured onto their front page great way to gain viewership but it's not going to be permanent as it's a different atmosphere they're only there to support saint jude the children the patients and all that stuff another thing they have to keep in mind i'm not sure if all streams that get featured on the front page makes you have your content to be family friendly i know for saint jude they want us to be family friendly because we're literally associated with children so we're basically we're basically promoting a campaign that's basically helping the children hey guys future jesse here uh so my dumbass made a mistake on my last recording uh, apparently my screen didn't capture everything that I needed to capture for editing the donation goal. So good thing I was looking through while editing the video. I have to like add a widget here, so I'll add one right now. Go click on donation goal. Do not click on this unless you know that you're about to link or connect your Tiltify account or any sort of campaign or website to start your charity goal. But go ahead and click on donation goal instead. And then you can name this anything you like, like St. Jude, for example. I'm going to call it St. Jude, add source. And once you do that, you can go to visual settings and color it any way you like. Mine is set to blue since it's a soft and nice color to look at. So it's not really going to hurt anyone unless you're colorblind. I'm sorry, Alex, I love you. And yeah, that's how you do it. And you can also resize it if you like. I recommend resizing it from properties, though. Because if you resize it by stretching it, the quality or whatever, it's gonna it's gonna look bad. It might be bad to read the numbers, so I'm probably gonna increase this to like I don't know maybe 900 and this one by 400. 
boom click done and there you go it's a little longer so now you can place it down or up and stuff you can size the recess in any way you like and watch your donations go and then once you reach your goal you can hit something like the end goal button and stuff if you're making a brand new one you can make a new one or start a new one from scratch in the beginning i'm just going to click on end goal and start a new one call it saint jude you can say your goal amount is a thousand dollars you're starting at zero and the end goal is this um you can put at any end goal you like and there you go you got 96 days left i have some more videos right here on how to grow on twitch and stuff i'll see you guys there bye